Right, okay, let's take a look at some of the things we need to do for something just like this. Right, now, most guitarists um, in our performance are going to be playing for the verses, just to be very, very subtle and dynamics. We're going to be taking their two fingers here, popping them on the 10th fret on the B and the E, and just playing and getting louder and louder, and louder and louder and louder as we build up to the chorus. Right, now let's just quickly go over a few of the capo positions. So, if you're playing in the 7th fret, these are the chords you're going to be playing when the chorus kicks in. You're playing a C9 here. So it's 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 3rd fret together. You're going to leave this finger here for the whole time and turn that into a D. But still leaving it here, it's going to go down to an E minor. 7th. Okay, but the most important thing here is the strumming for it. So you're going to go like this. Also, the part after the chorus for you goes like this, which is the bridge. that chord there, that last one we're doing there, it's just index finger 2nd fret on the A string, ring finger 3rd fret on the B string, and you play from the A string down, so you've got that bass note coming through. Okay cool, now if you're going to do the part at the beginning too, if you're a 7th fret guitarist, you can play it here, so you put that finger there on the B string, sorry. Cool. All right, so they're all your parts. Um, if you're on the second fret, you'll be playing these chords here. So you'll be playing F major seventh into a G, A minor. Cool. And then that other little part that comes in, you're going to go like this. We're just turning into an A minor 7 and concentrating our strum from the D string down to bring out that A. So the whole idea with this, there's going to be a few people too who are playing standard chords who aren't or don't have a capo and they will sound like this, just playing a G, A to B minor. And there's also a little lead part that comes in later on which sounds like this. I'm just going to pop my um, seventh fret capo on here, and it sounds like this. Starts at the twelfth fret, 14, 15, and then we go 14th fret on the E string, and back there to the B. So it goes. that with or without the capo. So anyway, I, um, I hope that all helps and it should be a good show.